The PKK has undertaken a 40-year terror campaign against the Turkish people, which has claimed over 40,000 lives. This EU and US designated terror group is responsible for many deadly attacks on Turkish soil. The PKK secures financing through many illegal activities including human trafficking, drug smuggling and extortion and violates human rights with child recruitment, forced conscription, torture and kidnapping. Investigations by Turkish police have uncovered a mountain of evidence establishing direct and indirect links between the PKK and the HDP, a political party that is represented in Turkey's parliament. Members of HDP have repeatedly spread the terror group's propaganda and have shown support for the PKK and its Syrian affiliate, the YPG. PKK, Kurt halkının gücünü kimse test etmeye kalkışmasın. PKK, sizi tükürüyle bu or, tükürüyle. Buna alışsanız iyi olur. Çünkü daha biz başka rapanın heykelli dikeceğiz, heykelli. Sırtımızı YPG'ye, YPG'ye ve PYD'ye yaslıyoruz. The HDP's divisive campaign reached its pinnacle when the party's former head, Selahattin Demirtaş, triggered an armed insurrection in October of 2014. Efendim Demirtaş sokağa çağırmışmış. Tekrar çağırıyorum. After the former co-chairman's call to action, PKK militants and supporters took to Turkey's streets in a spree of violence, killing 46 people and leaving 682 injured. The presence of politicians inside the Turkish parliament who have close links to a terrorist organization has created a severe national security risk for our country. The Turkish public has also displayed intense outrage against the HDP. The mothers of children kidnapped and forcibly conscripted by the PKK has staged protests in front of the party's buildings. Ankara is also very concerned to see PKK supporters in European countries freely assemble and spread their propaganda and messages of hate. Turkey has repeatedly warned its allies about the dangers that the PKK presents not only to its national security but also to the safety of other nations. In Syria, foreign fighters who have been militarized and brainwashed by the PKK and YPG pose a clear and present danger to their home countries. The recent arrests of individuals plotting attacks in the US and Europe are signs of this growing problem. Whether at home or abroad, Turkey will continue to fight the PKK and elements that serve the terror group. Ankara firmly states that it will not allow the HDP to abuse its political status to the detriment of Turkish citizens. Supporting terrorism under the veil of democracy will not be tolerated in Turkey, just as it would not be tolerated in any other democratic country.